Welcome back to Best of Wisconsin Homes. I'm Josh with Josh Lavik and Associates here with Christy Goforth. And uh, we're here in Monona doing our Community Spotlight Series. And uh, let's see, you've been a resident here in Monona and been involved in various aspects in the community. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell uh, tell our viewers today a little bit about your background, what you know about Monona, and what where we're at here. Yeah, hi everybody. Um, welcome to Monona. <laughs> I initially came here when I was hired to run our Chamber of Commerce in 2014, mm -hmm. um, and I quickly fell in love with this city. Um, I love the small town vibe of this city, but yet we're so close to Madison. Everything is, you know within arm's reach, it seems, all of the great things that people love about Madison. Um, and I worked at our Chamber of Commerce for about five and a half years, and then I was elected on our city council. So, and I'm currently at, serve on our city council as an alder, um, and I've lived in Monona now uh, for about almost seven years. Nice, very cool. And uh, I know behind us here, this is uh, what people call the Dream Park yes. and uh, Winnequa Park, right? With, yes. Uh, Good place to hang out, good place to play. Absolutely. As you can see, it's it's popular destination. <laughs> um, this is one of our great community assets and we're on basically our civic campus. And mm -hmm. so just right over here, I'm looking at our community pool, which is open to the public. Another mm -hmm. fabulous asset. Mm -hmm. Also our um, uh, award-winning library just across the street. And City Hall is right up on the hill and mm -hmm. so is the fire department. Yeah. Um, but we also have a skate park and just a plethora of beautiful green spaces, many of them located on the lakefront. Mm -hmm. So we have a fabulous bike route. It's actually one of the most popular bike routes in Dane County. It's called mm -hmm. the Monona Lake Loop, where you circumnavigate the Lake How long Monona. Is that? It's about 12 miles, okay. so you know, for me, my best time is about 45 minutes. Oh, so, okay. there you <laughs> if go. you want to put a clock on it, or if you want to take a casual ride, yeah. that's absolutely cool too. We have a couple of B-cycle stations located here in the city, which is our e-bike rental program. So okay. they're located at a park called Schluter Beach and another park called Grand Crossing. So that's a great thing to do if you're not a bicyclist, or maybe you've traveled here without your bicycle and you want an option to ride around the lake. Yeah. And then you can stop at some of our restaurants. So we have some incredible mm -hmm. establishments as far as eateries mm -hmm. and bars for outdoor entertainment. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the things I think that's kind of unique on Monona is like, like you said, you're within arm's reach of all of Madison, oh, right? Like, yeah. I mean, isn't the, there's the Monona golf course, but isn't that? It's City of Madison. City yeah, of Madison. yeah. And I live right by there. And oh, so, you know, across the street from my house is City of Madison, yeah. but I'm in Monona. Yeah. And so I think that's one of the that's one of the things that really drew me to Monona and yeah. helped me fall in love with Monona was that we are so close to Madison, but I I love small town living, mm -hmm. and we've been able to retain our small town vibe here sure. despite you know our, one of our biggest cities mm -hmm. in southern Wisconsin being across the street yeah. and and surrounding us on every border. So um, yeah, it's a, I think it's just a special place. Um, we've seen a real shift in our demographic. So maybe 10 years ago, you would have seen our median age be around 50. That is coming down. Mm. Um, and you'll see all the children here. Mm -hmm. um, There's and lots of kids playing. Yeah, there sure. are. There are. It's great. It's a great family destination. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my street is a great example. When I moved in there on my block, there were eight women over 80 living there. Now there's only two left and all young families have moved in. Oh, so you're seeing this massive transition. Um, and I think it's because of our, you know, amazing amenities, like I mentioned. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anything else you'd say maybe to somebody that's either thinking of moving to the area or maybe, you know, lives far away, not really sure about the community, you know, something that you think is maybe a more unique feature that uh, stands out to you? You know, I think some, I think some people would be surprised to learn that um, the entire eastern side of the lake was once Ho-Chunk land mm. and is there is a lot of cultural significance and some really cool opportunities to see some effigy mounds. There are about 300 mounds on the east side of Madison. Mm. So um, it's a that's a really unique feature here. Mm -hmm. um, and the Ho-Chunk used to call this land the Tejope. 
Um, so I think that's really great. Other things are, you know, don't come here thinking that you're not going to enjoy active recreation mm -hmm. <laughs> because the options for mm -hmm. hiking, biking, fishing, water skiing, mm -hmm. I think, are you a water skier? Oh yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, you'll <laughs> find me out on the water for sure. Yeah, wakeboarding maybe. Yep, yep, yes. we'll be out there wakeboarding yes. with my kids. Or, yep. There's no, yeah. there's, it's endless opportunities yeah. of taking advantage of outdoor recreation here Absolutely. and that's really wonderful. Absolutely. Cool. Well, I really appreciate you coming on the show and sharing a little bit more with our viewers today yeah. uh, about Monona and the community. And uh, Thank you so much for highlighting us. Absolutely. I mean, we're a friendly, wonderful community, um, kind of a hidden gem over here. Thanks so much, Christy. Yeah, great to yeah, see you. Again, you're watching Best of Wisconsin Homes. I'm Josh with Josh Lavick and Associates. And uh, Christy, go forth.